Madam Chair, distinguished delegates, on behalf of the Secure World Foundation, I take this opportunity to present an update on the Foundation's work since June 2021 under the agenda item, information on the activities of international, intergovernmental, and non-governmental organizations relating to space law. The Secure World Foundation is a non-governmental organization. It was granted permanent observer status at the Committee on the Peaceful Uses of Outer Space in 2008 and special consulta consultative status with the United Nations Economic and Social Council in 2010. The Secure World Foundation focuses its activities along three primary themes, ensuring the long-term sustainability of outer space activities, fostering the development of sound space policy and law, and enhancing the use of space technology and international cooperation to support human and environmental security here on Earth. In June, 2021, the Secure World Foundation organized and hosted the third Summit for Space Sustainability, a three-day high-level virtual event focused on developing solutions for space sustainability. Our summit had more than 500 people participating from all corners of the globe, including several colleagues attending this session, to discuss a range of economic, security, and environmental issues, and how space capabilities can be used to meet longstanding and emerging global challenges. We are pleased to announce that the 2022 Summit for Space Sustainability will be co-hosted with the UK Space Agency as an in-person event on June 22 and 23 at the Science Museum in London, England. We invite all delegations to attend. More inform information is available at the website swfsummit.org. We continue to distribute copies of our Handbook for New Actors in Space a book covering fundamental aspects of international space law, national space policy and regulation, and responsible operational practices for new space actors. So far, we have published Spanish, French, and Chinese language versions of the handbook. Electronic versions of all these editions are available at our website at swfound.org handbook, and these electronic versions in PDF format are free to download. The Secure World Foundation is proud to continue our role as a funding stakeholder, along with the governments of Belgium, Chile, Japan, and Luxembourg of the Space Law for New Space Actors Legal Advisory Project. The Legal Advisory Project, organized and executed by the UN Office for Outer Space Affairs, offers UN member states tailored capacity building to facilitate their drafting of national space legislation and or national space policies in line with international space law and to promote the long-term sustainability of outer space activities. Such capacity building supports new and emerging spacefaring nations to conduct space activities in a responsible and sustainable manner. The project also aims to increase adherence to the existing normative framework governing outer space activities. We look forward to future advisory service activities in 2022 in furtherance of this project. SWF has also engaged in a number of activities relating to lunar governance and space resource governance. As future space exploration related activities become more tangible, there's a need to consider how governance can support sustainability and the rule of law on the moon. We have partnered with the Arizona State University's Interplanetary Initiative, For All Moonkind, the MIT Media Lab Space Exploration Initiative, and with the Open Lunar Foundation to co-host the Moon Dialogues, an ongoing series of discussions on lunar policy and governance topics. Additionally, Mr. Ian Christensen, the SWF Director of Private Sector Programs is serving as a member of the Global Expert Group on Sustainable Lunar Activities, which was established at the start of 2021. Mr. Christensen will also deliver a statement on space resource utilization under agenda item 15, on behalf of our foundation. In regards to agenda item six, status and application of the five UN treaties on outer space, Secure World Foundation notes that the membership of COPUS has now reached 100 states and that this may be an opportune time to consider the implications of the increasing membership of COPUS for the universalization of the existing UN treaties on outer space. My delegation will make a statement on this issue under agenda item six. The Secure World Foundation is dedicated to maintaining the secure and sustainable use of space for the benefit of Earth and all its peoples. 
our foundation strongly believes that the challenge of sustaining the space environment into the future must be met in a truly international and cooperative manner because our continued ability to use space capabilities to help solve our most pressing challenges here on Earth requires that we preserve outer space as a safe and stable operating domain. Likewise, as the, as the benefits of space activities expand in number and improve in quality, preserving outer space as a shared domain that is available to all states for peaceful activities will become ever more important. As ever, the role of non-governmental organizations such as ours and the other permanent observers here at COPUS remains a fundamental component of international discussions, capacity building on space law and space policy, and our foundation's particular focus, space sustainability. We are encouraged to see the inclusion of civil society in many of the discussions and working groups at COPUS and thank all those who have acknowledged the role of civil society across the UN system. Madam Chair, distinguished delegates, the Secure World Foundation strongly supports the work of COPUS at this subcommittee, and we wish you all a successful session. Thank you for your kind attention.